This is APS3 emulator running God of War 3 without the best settings. And this is APS3 emulator running the same game with the best settings which I am about to show you guys. As you will be able to see the graphical issues have been fixed and the game is running much better. Yo what's up guys it's Aptrix here. In today's video I will be showing you guys how to fix most of the issues that you might be facing inside of the APS3e, the first PS3 emulator for Android devices based on RPCS3. If you guys have watched my last videos on the APS3 emulator, I promise you guys that I'll be filming a gameplay test video pretty soon but before I post the gameplay test video I wanted to show you guys the best settings so you guys will also be able to enjoy this emulator. Previously we tested out God of War E3 demo which gave lot of graphical issues and if we just go and tap on these three lines you guys will be able to see there is no setting bar inside of the APS emulator so you can't really configure the settings. So how can we apply the best settings you might wonder? Well there is a secret setting which you can access and I'll be showing you guys how to apply those settings. First First of all you will need to open play store and search for Z archiver and open it. Once that has been done you will be able to find the APS3e emulator folder right here just go and tap on it after tap on configure. Now once you open this folder you will need to scroll down and you guys will be able to see configure.yml. Basically this is where you will be able to apply all the best settings which I am about to show you guys for the APS3 emulator to fix crashing issues, graphical issues and even get better performance. Now before I talk about the best settings let me show you guys the default APS3 emulator and how well does it perform without applying the best settings. So right here I have launched God of War E3 demo on my Android device and you guys will be able to see once the game starts it has lot of graphical issues and if we just go and tap the X button you will be able to see it is flickering all over the place and it is not playable at all. Well to fix this what you will need to do is basically edit this configure.yml. So to start off you will need to hold it afterwards tap on rename afterwards simply go ahead and add .txt towards its end afterwards tap on the ok button. Once that has been done you will need to open it using Z archiver text. Afterwards you will be able to see the entire RPCS3 configuration will open right here. Basically this is where you will be able to change the settings of the APS3 emulator for Android. Just take a look at this there are lot of settings and all of them are from the RPCS3 emulator PC version. Now you can also edit these settings inside the PC RPCS3 emulator then import the config.yml inside the APS3 emulator or if you directly want to start editing the configuration then the first setting that you need to change is the PPU decoder. Here it is set to recompiler. You will need to set it as static by just typing this word. Once that has been done go back. Afterwards to fix graphical issues you will need to scroll down until you find the video section. Here as you guys can see the renderer is set as Vulkan. By default it might be written as OpenGL so you will need to erase it and make sure to type Vulkan once again. This is very important for best performance. Afterwards in terms of resolution it is set as 1280 by 720p. You guys will need to change it to 800 by 600 resolution for better performance. In terms of shader precision you will need to set it to low. So simply just go ahead and type low. Once that has been done here are the two most important settings right color buffers and right depth buffer. These are the settings which you will need to delete and make sure to write true for both of them. So here I have typed true for both right color buffers and right depth buffer. VSync has been turned off as you guys can see it says false. You don't really need to change anything more. Everything else you can keep it as default. Once that has been done simply tap on the save button afterwards go back and make sure to choose your config.yml. Tap on rename and make sure to remove the .txt that we had just added. Once that has been done we have successfully applied the best settings for the APS3 emulator on Android. Now you just gotta restart your APS3 emulator and let's open God of War E3 demo and see how well does it actually work. So here you guys will be able to see it's currently compiling PPU models etc. So let's wait for few seconds and I am pretty sure that all the graphical issues that we were facing previously in God of War will now disappear just like that as we have applied the best settings. So here we go Santa Monica studio. So here's the moment of truth guys the loading has been successfully completed and as you guys can see God of War 3 demo has been successfully started inside our APS3 emulator without any graphical issues. Just take a look at this and even the FPS is pretty smooth. We don't have any lagging issues still there are some stuttering issues here and there. But that will be present as this emulator was just released about 2-3 to three days ago. You can't really expect it to be stable and be working on all devices. Nonetheless you guys will be able to see it is actually working properly though without any issues and that's what matters the most. Just take a look at this I am literally emulating the original God of War 3 demo game on my Android device at really amazing graphics without any crashing issues, freezing issue or even major graphical issues. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and once again 
again the APS3 emulator gameplay video is coming pretty soon on my channel so you guys got to hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification as i upload similar videos on my channel just take a look at this we are playing the original god of war 3 demo game on our android devices well that's going to be it for today's video though thanks for watching hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out